I think in general we're looking for smart players. We're looking for guys that are uh, gym rats. We're looking for guys that are self-starters and you don't have to get them, chase them to get in the weight room or uh, do extra reps on the field. We're, we're looking for guys that want to be around the football facility, study ball, get better every day. You know, there's a lot of guys in this class that match that, that DNA, if you will. And uh, we're looking for tough guys, both mentally and physically tough. They love to compete every day, not afraid of competition. I think that's important. That's part of our DNA here at the University of Miami, that you embrace competition uh, and that you don't worry about who's on the depth chart ever. Agintosh. Nice. First one. RJ, here's Coach Gold. All right. RJ. There's a young man out of Fort Lauderdale named RJ McIntosh, committed to us a long time ago. And we just watched him grow. He was a basketball player and, uh, you know, he was 6'5 and 245 pounds when we first met him as a sophomore. And here he is today at 278 pounds after his official visit. Uh, we couldn't be more thrilled. He's on a great basketball team and, and uh, he's a great competitor uh, from an excellent family and uh, tremendous work ethic and smart. You know we're fired up, man, and uh, we're thrilled. Well, we're excited about the five uh, mid-year enrollees. I think uh, from our standpoint, uh, we've had them all on campus for, for three years and uh, anytime your expectations in recruiting match your expectations on the field or surpass, which this group has done, uh, is exciting. Number one, Scotty Patch in a defensive end. Uh, from ING uh, in Bradenton, Florida, uh, by way of Tampa, and a legacy. Uh, brings a relentless motor energy. Uh, he's coming off a knee injury and he's done uh, brilliantly coming back, so we're excited about him. Quan Johnson, we had as the top safety in all of South Florida. He comes in uh, and, and uh, is everything that we thought he would be. There's no question about it. You hear Jones, a big uh, offensive lineman at 334 pounds, really fulfills a need right away on the offensive line and we're so glad that you're here got here at mid-year because that was huge for us we also had a jerome washington uh, a 65 260 pound 63 pound tight end the number one junior college prospect uh, uh, in america uh, and we're just ecstatic about him uh, number one he was a qualifier coming out of high school so he has four years of eligibility which is really unique in a junior college player and he's coming at mid-year which is awesome and then the last of the five to join us was uh, C.J. Perry out of Royal Palm, a young man that can really run at linebacker and, and uh, was a dual threat guy for them at tailback this year. Loftus. On offense, uh, clearly the biggest need that we had was uh, offensive line. Uh, we did that. We got six offensive linemen. Uh, they're going to have to come in and, and compete for time early and really uh, fill a void there. I think we averaged 6'5", 312 pounds in this group coming in. Uh, and uh, it's a group that we're really excited about. They were immensely loyal throughout this process. Uh, they got size, strength, uh, toughness, and uh, all of them are really smart kids, so we're excited about that group. I think we got the best tailback in South Florida, and Mark Walton, a guy who, uh, who won three state championships at Booker T. Uh, Washington, and, and uh, really had uh, a playoff run this year that was as good as any, uh, really, in the history of the state. I thought he was just phenomenal this year. Uh, we're excited about him. You know, we had to replace Philip Dorsett at wide receiver, and we did that with Lawrence Cager, a young man out of Calvert Hall in Maryland. A uh, very talented uh, young man, a four-sport athlete. Uh, most people don't realize that, uh, but a young man that, uh, you know, just came to us uh, uh, from the uh, Army All-American game. Uh, he gives us length, size, speed, and uh, a tremendous personality to a guy, a young man that we're uh, Really excited about uh, joining this class. That's Ryan Fine's cover page. Ryan Fine's another IMG product and, uh, and, and, and a young man that uh, is playing defensive tackle. Kendrick Norton, uh, defensive tackle out of Trinity in, uh, in Jacksonville. And we couldn't be more pleased. Just a, a young man that uh, gives us great size and strength. We needed to get size at corner. We needed to come up with uh, two corners that were 6 1. Uh, and we did that. Number one, Michael Jackson from Alabama, a young man that was going to leave the state. Uh, he's an out-of-state prospect that really isn't an out-of-state prospect. His aunt, a Dade County resident, Michael's uh, a dad also uh, lives here and grew up here. So uh, that's number one. Number two, we were able to get uh, Sheldrick Redwine uh, from nearby Killing, and we love his speed and athleticism and his length. Uh, and uh, we're so pleased that he's joined our class as well. And then we're excited about Robert Knowles, a young man that uh, really grew 
this year and, uh, and gives us great size and, and length. Uh, he's a hitter and a guy that we followed this year and uh, had a great uh, senior season and uh, so we're excited about bringing Robert Knowles on board. He's a guy who always grew up wanting to be a Miami Hurricane and uh, when uh, his film came in in December, uh, he was a guy that, uh, that we were excited about and we're glad to, to add him to our unit as well. Jamie, you're in. Congratulations, buddy. You're, you're officially a Hurricane. Uh, and got Jamie Gordon here, a big, uh, strong, athletic linebacker at 6'4", uh, 235 pounds now. He'll play at 250, a basketball player and uh, a guy who also won a state championship. James King's a young man from Booker T that I personally was intrigued with James in camp. And uh, uh, he was a guy that can move well, was fluid. Uh, he came to camp at about 186 pounds. And uh, to his credit, kept growing. We kept watching him, he kept developing. And now he's 203 pounds, which is uh, a little bit bigger than Denz Denzel Perryman was at the same age. Very similar build. I think he's going to be a 235, 240 pound linebacker. Now we're excited about this class. Not only did we fulfill needs, but you know, 12 of the of, of the 20 prospects are from the state of Florida, and seven are from the three counties: uh, Palm Beach, uh, Broward, and Dade. So we're excited about that, and uh, and uh, we're excited about what these guys can do for our program. And, and uh, what they bring. There's five state champions in this group. There's a lot of captains in this group. Uh, we have five mid-year guys and uh, so many more of them are going to join us for summer session A in the middle of May. So from that standpoint, we're excited about you know building our team and, and uh, what these guys can bring to the University of Miami Hurricanes.